Okay, so it snowed a bunch here yesterday and continued on into today. Uh, it's sub-zero temperatures right now and it's, it's actually pretty hard to believe that just two days ago I was running a barefoot marathon and now it's freezing outside and we got piles of snow. Um, in any case, when it snows, that's an opportunity for me to replenish my drinking water. I try to drink as much as possible, not water from the tap, but just water that comes from the skies, the mountain streams. My last uh, water supply, this is what's left of it here. Um, I normally keep these two jugs in the kitchen um, full. I have um, some carboys, some big glass carboys downstairs that I keep a bunch of water in. My last supply went with my students to the mountain streams. I filled both of these plus two big carboys. Um, now I've just got this left and I don't know if you can if you can see in here probably not but um, there's a there's a, a bit of green algae and stuff floating around in there um, so it doesn't you know it doesn't really hurt you but it kind of starts to smell a little bit like a fishbowl <laughs> um, so that's why I've been drinking uh, anyway now I got this snow and I can make my first winter batch of water. Um, I'm going to try something different. Normally when I'm making my drinking water with the snow, uh, I melt it on the stove. But I know that uses a lot of energy uh, that doesn't necessarily need to be used. Um, the snow is not going away in the next couple of days or anything. So I think I can take my time and just melt it um, with the the air temperature of, of our house. So what I've done is I've got a couple of pots here and I put some starter water in both. Um, this is a little bit of the, uh, just a little bit of the uh, algae-ish water. Um, and I'm gonna, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this dustpan outside and fill these up with snow, bring them back in and just set them here and let them do some melting. Hopefully I'll be able to um, add a bunch of snow to that this evening um, and just keep it melting melting um, tomorrow is uh, remembrance day up here veterans day in the state so i have the day off going to be at the pond for a little while but most of the time i'll be home and i should just be able to keep adding snow adding snow and the more that melts the more water there is the easier it is to melt more so um, i'm going to try this experimentally and see you know how fast I can fill my jugs and stuff um, without having to use electronic heat to do it so yeah I'm gonna melt some snow make some drinking water it's already just melting away in there Boop. that's why I use the starter water I'll just load this nice and full And I just use the snow right off of my back porch and in my backyard and everything. Um, as long as I'm not like scraping on the ground then I shouldn't get a lot of contaminants or anything like that. It's just going to be the snowpack itself. So as you can see we got probably a good four or five inches snow here so plenty to work with. Alright so just thought I'd show the progress on melting my drinking water from snow uh, without use of the stove. Last winter I mostly used the stove to, uh, to melt it so this winter I want to try just allowing the uh, air temperature of the house to melt it. That way I'm not using extra electricity. There's already enough being used um, just to heat the house. But anyway here's what the situation looks like. Um, I refilled the pots probably three or four times last night, a couple of times this morning. So at most I would say they've been topped up with snow six times, not a lot of work. And um, I'm gonna fill this jug. I'm sure I've got enough water between the two of these to fill um, one of my drinking jugs and then I'll add more snow today. So it is, this method is working good if you have um, just patience and a little time to wait for it to, to melt. Um, the, 
does make a really nice clean no uh, chemical soup no chlorine no um, fluoride nothing but what came out of the sky to drink so yeah this method is working good for me I'm gonna to continue today to um, melt some water and I uh, should have enough to by the end of the day I think to fill both of my jugs maybe even a little carboy so good stuff it's my drinking water